Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and this is my 100% walkthrough for Resident Evil 2. We're going to get all of the achievements. That's the plan. Now at the end of the last video, I foolishly put away something we actually need to bring with us and that is the round handle. We're about to use that. So bring that with us. The other items we've got are our handgun, just a few bullets, combat knife and the electronic gadget because we're going to get the other part of that as well. We're not taking our shotgun just yet even though we just got that in the last video. Alright now we're going to head upstairs. No not upstairs first we're going this way. Oh should we check on Marvin? Still alive. Barely. Alright and we're going to head through the west office. Now there's still a safe in, in, hang on, get my bearings in that room there that we haven't got the code to, but we're getting that shortly. So we'll be back for that. And that's an item pouch in there. Now we want the dark room staircase. And this is something I tested off camera. Ha ha, can't get me, ha ha. All right, up we go. I'll just show you where we are now on the second floor, heading to the shower room. Now, first thing we're going to do is the locker that's in here. We got the code in the last video as well. It was written on a whiteboard and it was the word CAP or the letters C-A-P. So let's put that in. There we go. And it's just some shotgun ammo. Nothing too important. Okay, we're gonna use the round handle here. All right. Oh, okay. Now, head through. Don't worry about him, he's already uh, not with us. Okay, first locker, gunpowder. Yeah, we'll grab that. Second locker, empty. Just show you guys, there we go. Okay, now through here we're going to be uh, very, very quiet is the word we'll use. So just uh, walking only. Grab the uh, shotgun shells first. Okay, and then check out the roof up there and just walk slowly. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a liquor, and we're going to just head in here and avoid it. He doesn't know we're here. Oh, ho, ho. those things still creep me out, even though I knew we weren't going to get in combat. All right. Red herb. Up there. Turn around. We are in the star's office. All right. If you need to know where we are, that's where we are. Hop into this little side office. Grab the battery. Automatically combine it with the electronic gadget. And now we have a detonator. We're going to head up and use that shortly. Here we have our next file. Internal memo. September 22, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe moved from Star's office, second floor, to West office, first floor. That's the office we just came through earlier. The combo is left 9, right 15, left 7. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. So that's the code for the safe in the West office that we you, that we uh, came through to get up to here. All right, now heading over here. Something I didn't realize that um, once you do it on any save file... Hey, my gun's not... Oh, there we go. Is raccoon number 2. Make sure you shoot him. Obviously, he's not there for me. I've already uh, taken care of him, but make sure you look just there between this box and uh, computer screen and shoot him. All right, now grab the, what is it called? High grade gunpowder, the yellow gunpowder. There's a first aid spray here. Uh, that's not it yet. That's not all. Shotgun shells. Uh, flash grenade. And I think that's it. I don't think anything's over here. All right. 
and we can't use this yet. This um, once we've got the uh, USB dongle for that, we'll open up this and we'll get the special gun over there, the Magnum. You can see it there, Lightning Hawk. All right, but we need to activate that PC to open the door. Uh, have I got everything in here? Red herb battery file, gunpowder flash grenade. Yep. The raccoon, make sure you get the raccoon. And we've got the first aid spray already. All right. Time to go set off the C4. I nearly said dynamite. I've been playing Red Dead too much. All right. Now, if you go back that way, the liquor's around the corner. Um, I don't think we want to go see the liquor. Let's just go back the way we came. Just go nice and easy through here. And now we can run. Back through the shower room. And this time, up the stairs. Now that locker there, we still don't have the code for this. So we'll leave that. All right, I'll show you where we are. We're heading for the west storage room where the explosives are. That's what distracted me last, ah, yeah, that distracted me in another run. I thought that was a uh, herb. All right, in we go. Now, things get a little bit tricky here. All right. Now that goes out to the library, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, but once we set off the explosives, this is gonna fall and block that doorway for us. We can move it, but we're gonna be dealing with a liquor in here. So I like to just go back out the way we came, if we can. Uh, make sure you've got a flash grenade equipped. Okay, yeah, we'll keep that. I'll just move it to there. Just makes it easier. All right, we're gonna use the detonator. All right. All right, just uh, hide around the corner here. Boom, come on. All right, I like to run straight in. All right, now, trying to stay quiet here. Uh-oh, that's the liquor I can hear already. Okay. Cross to our documents or our files. And the top one is the officer's notebook. And the maiden statue is a lady, a bow, and a snake. Let's do it. And these all have smudges on them, so you can't really tell. But that looks like the lady. Or is the lady. That's the bow. And the snake is a bit harder for me. Yeah, that's the snake. All right. Maiden's medallion. Ours. All right. Now that we've got that, we have a zombie and a liquor to worry about. Make sure you've got your flash grenade ready. You'll get an achievement for doing this too. As soon as it drops down, throw the grenade. And run. Around this way. Around that zombie. We're not stopping for the bookcase. We're going out this way. Ah, get out. Oh, how did it get not get me then? I have not got a clue. All right. We're safe. Whew, check my health. I don't think he got me. Alrighty. Whew, my heart's racing a little bit. Alright. All the way down. Down again. I didn't use any ammo, did I? No. Alright. Okay. I don't know what, oh, that's the guy at the window. I was like, what was that noise? All right, West Office. We got the code for this uh, safe over here, didn't we? 
Okay. And we want this. All right, so it was nine left. 15 to the right. And then seven. There we go. Yeah, we want that. Another hip pouch. Two more slots opening up there. All right. Now it's time for the goddess statue. Okay, head straight over here. Put the medallion in. Okay, and in we go. So it goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brenna! Marvin! Oh, he's not looking go. too good. Hey, hey, Marvin. Ah! Ooh. We need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I... Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go! Look, we can still make it out of here together. You just can... He knows he's changing. Too late. I tried, Leon. But I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go. I understand. He's a good man, Marvin. I'll remember you, buddy. you down Marvin you better not Leon okay and after the cut scene we're gonna pick up a story related achievement so that one's not missable okay guys so we've escaped the uh, police station for now and it's time to get ready for our first boss fight grab the gunpowder here uh, actually we can combine that let's do that Combine, and we want to combine that as well. Up, up, up. All right, and there should be some more ammo there. Shotgun shells, grab those. All right, now, item box. Got to do a few, got to arrange a few things. We're going to put that back. Going to put that back. And because we're not going to get hurt by the boss, we're going to put that back. And we also don't want the combat knife. If you accidentally use the combat knife on the boss, you will lose it. You do not get it back. So it's a lot safer to put it away. And I shouldn't have just drank that Pepsi Max. It's uh... all right. Anyway, uh, we want the shotgun and we also want. Uh oh. Where did my flash grenade go? Oh, I used one on the uh, liquor. That's right. That's okay. Take that out. All right. I knew I had one, but uh, yeah, we used it. Okay. Just checking if we need anything else for this boss fight. If we've got enough ammo. Yeah, that should be more than enough. All right. So the plan after we do a quick save actually Okay, so now that we've done that, that's the way we came in. Head out this way. And use the elevator. Further down. All right, first of all, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom of these stairs. Don't turn left here. 
going to get our favorite present. Uh, where is it? There. Hand grenade. Yeah. All right. Put that there. Don't want to equip it just yet. So let's just make sure. No, we need the flash grenades are going to be our friend. Okay. Back up. In this way. Now that's the boss. I think that's him anyway. Oh boy, oh boy. Now this is, oh this is red. I'm not sure if there's anything in here though. I was just thinking to myself, I don't remember searching this little area. There's nothing down there. Uh, okay, I wonder... Anyway, as soon as we move this out of the way, it's time for the fight. Uh, what we're going to do, we've got our flash grenades ready. As soon as we throw our flash grenade, as soon as we see the enemy, or as soon as we're ready to fight, throw a flash grenade, it's going to stun him for a while. We're going to have to shoot at him. You can either shoot him in the head, or he's got this giant eyeball growing on his shoulder. We're going to shoot at that when we can, as much as we can. The eyeball... I think we'll do the most damage. Uh, then when he's uh, recovered and starts coming towards us, we're going to run off, get in another spot where we can get a good angle on him and throw another flash grenade and repeat the, uh, repeat the process. And then uh, when we've done that, we're going to throw the hand grenade at him, repeat the process and change to our shotgun and finish him off with that. That's the plan. Let's go. Oh! Yikes! Yo! Alright, get ready. Flash grenade straight away. Yeah, it will. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, it's eye. You can't see it. Oh. That didn't work as well as I had hoped. All right, we'll head... Down here. We should be able to see him coming. Pretty good. Here we go. No choice. Got to take it down. Of course we do. Hopefully that'll drop him a bit. There's the eye. Oop. Got to reload before. Alright. Run. Don't get trapped. Now yeah, go somewhere where you can see him coming. Oh, preferably not here. Alright, this is going to be a standoff. Get the hand grenade ready. It's automatically equipped. Here he is. Alright, while he's down like this, handgun's still to go. But if he gets up, we'll change into the shotgun. There, one shot. Alright. Over he goes. I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of him. Reload the shotgun. Check our handgun. Oh, we used a lot, but... And what else have we got? No more ammo left for it. Okay. No, we did well. I'm happy with the only one shotgun round. I could have changed to the shotgun a little bit earlier. And we didn't take any damage. So, perfect. Now, here we are in the machinery room, but it's red. So, we've got some gear to get. Uh, if we head to the southeast first... According to my notes, there should be some ammo and a green herb. There's a green herb. And ammo. Put that there. 
Excellent. All right, southwest. Uh, is it this way? Yep. Red herb uh, and ammo again. Yeah, red red herb and ammo. Ah, restocking already. There we go. Two full clips. Uh, now we go to the northwest. This is where the real goodies are. Some more ammo. And another hand grenade. Replace the one we just used. And another green herb. And that's it. Now we go up the ladder. Uh, go this way first. Can't remember what was in this locker. Gunpowder. Perfect. We could use that. Uh, now, there was a green herb. Oh, there. <clears throat> no, 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 no. We'll just put it there for now. All right. Up the stairs. And up here. All right, you need to flick this switch to move this platform so that we can cross over there. Here it is. Excellent. And now we've got another safe room. Just check, everything's blue. This isn't blue, that's because... Uh, what was in here? Let's just check the locker. Ah, that's all right, of course. Hip pouch. Now it's blue. All right. Let's uh, just rearrange a few things. All right, so what do we want to put away? Let me just double check. I don't want to bring the grenade with us, so we're putting that away. Gonna put away all the herbs. Now, I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna manage to do it on this run, but we are making an attempt at doing a, uh, a run without using any healing products or healing items, sorry. So that's the plan at this stage. Whether or not we succeed, we'll find out. Uh, let me just check my notes. I don't know if I want all these shotgun shells. Uh, you know what, that should, should be okay. Yeah, we are gonna be using a few shotgun shells for something. Uh, all right, or using our shotgun. Yeah, I think that'll do. Make sure you do a quick save. Okay, now, that's the way we came. We wanna go out this way by going up the ladder. The exit, the end of the game. I don't think so. Alright, now you just want to go straight over to this uh, light, these lights over here, this key, key card little thingy. And once you cancel out, another cutscene. Damn. Need a key card. Uh oh. Oh boy. Who 
was that? That's not Stay clear. Sharp. Whoa. So that's two headshots so far. Lower it. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. Eh. Uh, and a third. Help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. That's not very nice. Don't just watch hey, her walk away. I'm not done talking to you. Well, apparently you are, Leon. Alright, so he's taken care of. Okay. And there's nothing to get in here at the moment, so we're gonna follow the uh, mysterious FBI agent. Head into this office and get the map. Police station B1 map. Perfect, all right. So that's given us these black areas here. And that's where we're gonna work our way through until we can end this, uh, this run. Uh, we've got some ammo here for the handgun. Okay, all right. And we've got a, another scene to play out in a second. But this guy here, he's alive. Now we didn't bring the combat knife, did we? My last run I did have the combat knife with him, so I finished with me, so I finished this guy off with that. Um, but I needed one extra inventory slot for this run, so I figured we don't need the knife. Let's just use some bullets. Oh, that's okay. They're just in the jail cells. You reckon he's done? Wish there was a better way of telling. Because sometimes I think they're dead and they do get back up. Alright, now. I more just do this for fun. But one bullet in a couple of these seems to do the trick. I don't know if I needed to put one in him or not. Let's just leave it and see. We don't come back here for a while, so... Oh, it's this guy. That's right. Watch this. This is funny. <laughs> oh, it's funnier if you shoot him again, but we'll, we'll keep our bullets. Okay, dead end that way. Oh, here we go. Once again, I'm really just doing this for fun at this stage. I don't want to hit the bars. Hey, 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 get him in the head. What the? There we go. And cutscene. Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's a you guess. Irons. You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. All right. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look. I am very interested to see what happens here. Be nice and help each other out. Shit, it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on, come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. Oh. <laughs> Ah, what? Oh. oh my god. That's how that happens. I that's the first time I've experienced that, guys. I did not. Oh. Who is that? It's just me. Yeah, she's back. 
I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. It wasn't that I quick. Get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? Oh, the eyeball. Orbit. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Hmm. Not very nice, Ada. Well, I guess we need that. Okay. Back in control. You can check the uh, uh, world results. Uh, so I'd seen that before, but I hadn't seen the scene or what caused it. All right. So have a look at this. This is where we are going to need to put some. Uh, well, we'll show you. We'll show you. Okay. Let's pick this up. Just called a tool, but it's a square crank. Um, we've seen one uh, spot where that could be used already, and we're going to find another spot a little bit later. And here is our next file. I want to say it's file number 15. All right. Check the uh, video description though, if you want to um, keep up. All right, let's have a look. So it's the jail power panel. The power panel is out. Can the person in charge of it please take care of it ASAP? I assume, it, I assume everyone knows, but since the jail's power panel is old as hell, we're going to need those custom power panel parts. No one makes it. No one makes any more. There should be a few in the generator room. Uh, is that meant to say amend, uh, amendment? I don't know. I got word that there's only one of those power panel parts in the generator room. The guy that's here to fix the bell in the clock tower should have another. So someone swipe. Uh, uh, I mean, ask him nicely for it, please. All right. So that's explaining that we need to fix this thing uh, by finding the power panel parts. All right. No, we haven't finished off everything here. But anyway, back out to the parking garage. Garage. I wonder, I'm, I'm thinking, I was thinking as I said that, that my accent probably makes it sound weird. And then I said it weird even for my accent, <laughs> the word garage. All right, back out we go. Okay, I'll uh, just show you the map. So we're back in the parking garage and we need to head over here into this area and we're heading for the kennel first. Let's go. Green door over here. The kennel. Doesn't sound like a good idea, does it? Hmm. Okay, so that one, let me just... Yeah, we can go into the firing range, but I want to go in the kennel first. I already went the wrong way. We've got to turn right down here. I was wondering why I was a bit confused. Can you hear... Here's some puppies. All right, go past the door and get this blue herb. There we go. Used to remove toxins. Well, thankfully we have no need for that just yet. All right, into the kennel. When you enter the kennel, turn to your right, grab gunpowder. All right. And you'll see there, it's already gone blue, so we've got everything. Um, thankfully, they're stuck in there at the moment. I literally just thought of something, but I don't, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm wondering if we shoot them now, because they do break out later and attack us and we've got to, um, there's two ways to sort it out. You can either shoot them or run past them or uh, try to avoid damage. Wondering if we could uh, shoot them now. Okay, it only takes one bullet. All right, we may as well try it. This 
could be a complete waste. I would normally test this off camera, but I didn't um, think of it until right this minute. Okay, hopefully they're dead. Let's waste one more bullet just to be sure. All right, on we go. To the morgue now. All right, that might save us some shotgun shells a little bit later on. Okay, first thing I want to do when we're in the morgue is take care of this fella so that he doesn't sneak up on us later. And one good headshot. Yikes. Whew. So that does him in. All right, now, a few things of interest. You can open all these, but only a couple of them have stuff in it that we actually need. This is one of them. Red herb. Put that there. And I think it was the second last one. No, the last one, okay. Lucky I checked. All right. Now, I think from memory he's dead. Let's just test that theory out. Grab the flash grenade. Yeah. He didn't attack us. And then this one. Always do this one last. Because we will have a, a live one, so to speak. Not sure you call a zombie alive, though. Okay, we've got something special to pick up there, but before we do... Oh, you're kidding me. You can't actually do it. I did not know that. See, I'm finding out a couple of things on this recording. My practice runs, I just grabbed the key. Um, just thought, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it properly on my, on my recording. Uh, but that backfired. All right, keep the diamond key and get away. Oh, if you've got your knife, maybe just slash at him before he gets up. And this is where the other guy would normally sneak up on you as well. But we've already taken care of him. Okay. Morgue is done. Ho, ho, ho. But we're not done in the morgue because we did not get this file. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased, Justin Hansen, male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac. Incarcerated multiple times, incredibly, he would steal even while in jail though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. That doesn't sound too incredible to me. Uh, let me just make sure, okay, it's blue. It's blue before you get the files anyway, but let me check in the morgue. We had the file, the key, flash grenade, and the red herb. Yep, we've got all that, let's go. And turn to our right. Here's our first use for the uh, crank tool that we got. Use that. Gonna open up this gate. But we're going to be taking the crank tool along with us still. How much room have we got? We've got four spaces left in our inventory. All right. We're going into the generator room now. Okay, there should be some gunpowder over here. We're gonna use that straight away. We're gonna make some shotgun shells. And then I wanna move them. Or combine them, sorry. Combine them with that. There we go, just create a little bit more room. Move that over there. Perfect, okay. Turn around here and we've got boxed electronic part. Uh, put that. I want to put that down here. And then we want to examine it. Flip it over. Open it up. Electronic part. That's for the uh, power panel that we saw earlier. All right. And 
Moving on. There should be... No, that's it. Okay. We need to head to the back. Okay, it's still red. Oh, I know. Hang on. This way. We were missing this. Uh, let's just put that there. All right, now it's blue. Okay. No more missing files or anything like that in here. All right, let's go. Now, I want to explain this before we do it. It may be a little bit different because of those canines that we already took care of, but get your shotgun out. Okay, once we uh, figure out this little puzzle here, that door over there is going to open. I'll show you on the map where it is. That's so that we can exit this area. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna have to make our way back around the generator room and out the door, down this way, up into the kennel and around and back out to the corridor and up and eventually out there. But before we do, we're gonna go into the firing range pick up a couple of goodies in there um, and in there. That right there is a diamond door, which needs the diamond key that we just picked up in the morgue. All right, so that's the plan. But on our way to do all of that, there are going to be dogs and I, I, we may have three less than normal, but there's still gonna be a few of them to deal with. You can run past them all. You could probably get away with it um, without taking too much damage. I want to shoot them to avoid any damage at all so that we don't have to use healing products or healing items. I don't know why I keep calling them products, but anyway. And the puzzle for this is just to turn on the third switch and the fourth switch. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, this one that is going to jump over the fence, when he does, Aim where he's going to land and shoot as soon as he lands. Just like that. There's normally also one running up this corridor here. But we took it out earlier, it seems. Alright, I can't hear it, so that's good. Alright. When we go out this door, there's normally two waiting on the other side of a little fence. This one. And there's normally one there as well, but we've already dealt with that one too. Okay, so this is good. Let's see if there's one around this corner. All right, we're gonna be real careful here. Come on. Whoa. There we go. Whew. Whew. Okay, now we're gonna make our way into the kennel. Now, the next spot, I don't think one comes down the stairs yet. No, they're normally gonna bust through there. Let's see if there's still, there's normally two that bust through that uh, vent there as we make our way up these stairs. Here we go. Now, that is a good spot to wait. I actually did this in a practice run. Um, you can wait for the uh, dog to jump down these stairs and as it's in the air, take it out with the shotgun and you'll get an achievement. I'll put that up on the screen now. Just so you guys can uh, see what it's, what it's worth and stuff like that. Um, but for now, I just wanna get on with this. All right. I wonder how many more there are gonna be. Cause the three that we, I've already had three accounted for, so let's just be careful as we round corners. All right. Not yet. I'm uh, almost sure there'll be one more around this corner. And usually you can get him before he sees you. He's not there. Jeez, he's not, okay. So, that's good. Taking care of those um, dogs in the cages works. Just make sure no one's here. 
Awesome. All right, we're going to go into the firing range, show you where we are. And we don't need our shotgun anymore. I definitely find it easier. Oh, these guys have woken up, though. Let's get some target practice. Oop. Hey, come back here. Hang on, buddy. Da! He's gone too far. Can he open this door? Because I don't want to be uh, in there while he's all the way over there. Crap. Oh, they're normally uh, asleep too. Okay. Let's grab uh, our next file. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed of. Key to patrol car 7439. Bent key no longer usable but can still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. And here's the key here. Pick up the box. And then examine. Turn it around. Oops. Open up the box, grab the key. Alrighty, we'll use that a little bit later. All right, we're gonna have to be careful here. Uh, let's get the next file. A message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy boys and girls, it's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys. Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, but that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. That's, I guess that's a little hint at the achievement that we've been working on, and there's a little Mr. Raccoon in there. We'll get a bit closer so I can show you. Uh, before we go in there, I wanna deal with this guy. Oh, come on. Yeah, yep, yeah, come on. Surely he... Yes. Oh, I don't have my knife, do I? There we go. Is he done? Just get past him first. Oh, she's not done, though. Jesus. Oop. Be patient. Oops, not that patient. Woo! Oh. Okay, so he's getting back up too. Is he dead? <laughs> he's moving, but I think it's the door. All right, Mr. Raccoon. Let's get him. Excellent. Uh, and some bullet, uh, shotgun shells over here, actually. Yep. Excellent. And let me see. Oh, firing range. All done. Um, not sure how safe this is, but let's go. All right. Diamond key. In we go. Okay. A red herb. Chuck it there. And a film. Roll of film. Let's grab that. What does it actually say? And I don't know what it says on there. Something locker. Oh, I didn't pick it up. My bad. All right. As you can see, we've only just got enough room. If we get... Uh, I think we actually are going to need... No, no. Hang on. All right. So from here, let's just make sure. Yep. What I want to do is head back to the parking garage out here. Oh, oh, okay. I forgot. There's a dog coming. Yeah, there it is. And okay. So that's a good spot to stand. There's another one coming. Three of them. All right. I 
kind of got busted there. I did this in a different order. Um, last time I came back out here after getting the car key, there weren't any dogs out here, that's for sure. Anyway, this police car here, read the number 7439. Go into your inventory and grab this key, examine, and it's 7439. Turn it around, push the button. Okay, and the uh, trunk's gonna open. Now, we don't currently have any room, but as you can see, the key there has the little red tick on it, which means we can get rid of it. And now, open the, open the boot and get the gun stock for the Matilda handgun. Um, now, the problem with this one is if you install it onto your gun, you can take it off, you can t put it on and off, uh, but combining it with your gun, number one, will then mean your gun takes up two inventory slots. Number two, it means that when you pull the trigger, your gun actually is like a burst fire. It shoots like three bullets and is very, very costly. I don't like it at all, so I'm not going to use it. All right, so use this way too much ammo. All right, off we go. We dealt with all the dogs. We've uh, got everything in here. Everything's blue. I'm going to go uh, back to the card reader eventually once we figure a way into this... The jail cell down there. All right, but for now, we're going to the break room. Here we go. Okay. Grab some shotgun shells here. Try and replace all the ones we've used dealing with the uh, dogs. All right, I think we're all full up, aren't we? All right, lights, lights. We need the lights. Okay, guys, I'm going to save the game. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, remember to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, post a comment, all that good stuff. If you enjoy this kind of walkthrough and uh, it really helps you out, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Uh, if and when that picks up, that's what's going to allow me to keep doing this sort of thing uh, when my uh, job situation changes uh, shortly. Anyway, enough about that. Like I said, thanks very much for watching. And I will catch you all next time.